Welcome back. For there to be a future in filmmaking, there first has to be dedicated resources for the future filmmakers and artists of tomorrow. We are here joined now by Rachel Norris Wilson and Eric Hughes, part of the Arkansas Cinema Society and the Michaud Awards and Film Labs. They're going to talk a little bit about the educational opportunities available coming up. First of all, Rachel and Eric, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you joining us virtually over Zoom. We're going to start <laughs> with you. our first question for Rachel. Now, Rachel, how did the Arkansas Cinema Society educational programs help grow our film community across the state? Yeah, so the film industry, in order for it to continue to become bigger, we really need a more robust crew base in our state. Um, a lot of times productions, very large productions, right, like an A24 or a Paramount, aren't going to necessarily come into Arkansas unless they know that they can hire a bunch of local crew, mostly because it's more expensive to fly a bunch of folks in from New York or Los Angeles. Um, so by providing opportunities where people can come and learn a specific craft that they're interested in and also build a filmmaking network whenever those productions do come into town not only do they now have the skill to be able to work on those crews but they also now know all of the local filmmakers and they're more easily able to be hired um, in general film has the power to be such a huge economic driving force in our state as well as a really big job creator so we're looking forward to providing more opportunities for folks interested in this pathway Great, and then we, when we're talking about opportunities as well, on the other side of the coin is the Michaud Film Award and Lab. Eric, can you tell us a little bit about what it is that happens there? Um, sure, the Michaud Award and Film Labs is an initiative to help create sustainable career paths for creators of color here in Arkansas. Um, it originated as a partnership between the Visionary Foundation, which I am uh, the founder of, and the Fayetteville Film Fest to provide funding for creators of color uh, we started it in 2020 with the Michelle Award, and we've given out over $10,000 to creators of color in Arkansas um, since that time. And we added the film lab component to help provide the education and training dynamics for creators of color who need the information and the education but don't necessarily have access to film school or access to those types of uh, educational spaces. And then the, the networking piece is the, is the component that Rachel spoke about that we also try to provide for creators of color who may not necessarily have access to those networks to, to build those relationships to have sustainable careers. And so with the film labs, we provide the the education and the training, and we also provide the networking through social events that are catered towards bringing filmmaking communities together. And I understand for both of you that there are events coming up that kind of merges the, the two of these together. Can you quickly go over those events? Sure. So uh, this Thursday, September 15th, we're screening Dreamland about 9th Street, um, and producer Tanisha Jo Conway will be joining us with the Q&A with Eric here, which is going to be an incredible uh, free event at Cal's Ron Robinson Theater, so please come to that. The film workshops are happening on September 17th. They are full, so sorry, <laughs> but also really exciting for us. Um, but afterwards, there is another free, incredible networking social event um, from 5 to 7 at Rocket Labs, which is right next to Cal's Ron Robinson Theater. It's open to the public. We'll have um, an incredible wine experience with White Black who's coming in, tunes from Sean Fresh. We've got um, food from the Rue Cafe. So it's going to be a really wonderful event showcasing these artists who are not only helping and mentoring at the lab, but also previous Michaud awardees um, who will be showcasing their work as well. So we're really excited for folks to come join us, even if they aren't able to make um, the educational aspect on Saturday. Great, and we're excited, of course, that that's coming up and that that's available. We could talk about this all broadcast, but unfortunately, we have to uh, toss to break after this. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We're going to have more information on our website, and we're going to be right back after this break.